Well, 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 hello guys. Welcome back to a brand new video now. Uh, it's been a while since I've been sat in this garden, okay? But we're back and today is Friday the 13th of September, okay? Unlucky for some. Um, but today something very special happened now. Obviously, the August month has been, the first month of football has been and gone, okay? And today it was announced that Paul Lambert won the award for manager of the month okay and i'm really happy about it i really am because he deserves it he's put in hard work he's brought the fans back together it feels like a community okay at portland road all the fans know each other well not everyone but a lot of the fans get along it's just a lot of you will know what i mean by saying when, I, when a lot of you will know what i mean when i say it feels like a community because under mick mccarthy it got toxic, it wasn't enjoyable at all to go to any games, and Lambert has, he's, he's saved it in that scenario. Obviously, we're still working towards getting promotion, we are third in the league at the moment, we have a game in hand, if we beat Doncaster on Saturday, we go back top of the league with two points, two points clear, however, there are teams above us still, that will be playing Saturday, so... We, we are relying on results to go our way in order for us to be top of the league. But we're talking about the player of the month, not the player of the month, the manager of the month award, okay? Lambert, like I've said, he won manager of the month award. There's a cobweb on me. Uh, and I think he deserved it, okay? In the comments down below, I want you to comment if you think Paul Lambert deserved the award. There were three other managers. Danny Cowley, Simon Grayson, the Blackpool, not, uh, I think he's the Blackpool manager, Simon Grayson, uh, and I think it's Mark Robbins, correct me if I'm wrong, the Coventry City manager, um, there were the three other nominees, and in all honesty, Danny Cowley, he stood out for me, you know, Lincoln, they've just been promoted from League 2, they're in League 1, uh, Danny Cowley's done an excellent job. They've had a lot of consecutive promotions, and Danny Cowley, he's, he's a great manager. Simon Grayson for Blackpool. Blackpool have had a very good start, as, as have Coventry City. Um, it could have gone either way, but Lambert won the award. And yes, it does mean a lot, because, you know, like I've said, him, the team at Ipswich, they work so, so hard. They're passionate, they want the club to do well as any manager would want to see their club do. But, you know, the fans are happy. It's, I just feel like it's going to be a good season, OK? Now, last year, yes, we got relegated. Lambert came in in October, I believe. And a lot of fans were like, yes, this is the perfect appointment for Ipswich. We are staying up, OK? I genuinely thought we were going to stay up. But like people said, the damage was done. It was there was no way getting out there. you know what I mean I'm not going to go into detail um, so yeah we got relegated it was wasn't a great season it was it was a very upsetting season for a lot of fans obviously to see us after 17 years in the championship get relegated to League 1 now it's needed it was needed okay it goes to show from how we're doing now we are going to bounce back up I'm sure we will okay I'm saying we will I think we're going to get promoted um, whether or not it's automatics or playoffs I don't know um, personally I want to win the league I think a <laughs> bit of a silly remark to make but anyone would want to win the league wouldn't they okay um, but playoffs would be pretty special as well now <sighs> there's not much more to say however I just want to say Congratulations to the team. Um, I know Luke Chambers and Toto and Siala watch a few of my videos. So if you are watching this, I just want to say a big thank you for you know the opportunities for myself and just making it enjoyable to go to games. And it's a, I should be saying thank you to Paul Lambert as well, but he won't be watching this. Um, so yeah, it's crazy. I really am loving the whole... You know, just going to games, away games, I absolutely love as well. Um, and yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Okay, now I hope you have enjoyed this one. Um, been a bit of a different one, different scenery. We're in my garden, but different angle. Uh, 
We are playing Doncaster tomorrow. I'm really, I'm so excited for this game because it's huge. Every game is huge for us now because in order to get promotion, we need to be picking up results. We need results to be going our way as well. Um, and I feel like this is going to be the season. All right, you've heard it here. We're going up. All somatic playoffs. It's crazy, all right? Um, yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. It's quite loud. A lot of trucks are going past. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm so happy at the moment. YouTube feels brilliant. Um, and honestly, guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please, please, please help me out. Subscribe. Press that red subscribe button. You can't miss it. We're on the road to 7K, which is just uh, uh, it's unbelievable. Okay, so keep smashing it. Turn your notifications on as well, so every time I upload, you can see when I upload a video. So that's the little bell icon next to subscribe. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Really appreciate all your support. Bring on Doncaster. If you want to be in the Doncaster vlog as well, guys, I'll be at the Sir Bobby Robson statue from half one until the game, okay? So come and see me at the Sir Bobby Robson statue. I'm there for quite a while. I like doing interviews. I like, even if you don't want to be in the video, it's nice to just meet you guys and have a chat, okay? So come and see me at the Sir Bobby Robson statue from 1.30pm until about 10 minutes before kickoff. All right, thank you for watching this video. You know what to do already. Smash this video a like. I'll see you tomorrow.